नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अ पोम ऑफ क्लास सेवन एंड द टाइटल ऑफ द पोम इज डैड एंड द कैट एंड द ट्री रिटन बाय किट राइट किट राइट वॉज अ ब्रिटिश पोइट ही इज नोन फॉर बींग अ पोइट एंड चिल्ड्रंस ऑथर नाउ लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट दिस पोम This poem is a humorous illustration of the actions of elders. Father boastfully climbed on the tree to save a cat. However, he became a subject of mockery for the bystanders. The rhyming scheme is A B C B followed in the poem. The poet successfully told a story in a humorous and lyrical way. Now I will read the poem first. Dad and the cat and the tree. This morning a cat got stuck in a tree. Dad said, "Right, just leave it to me." The tree was wobbly, the tree was tall. Mum said, "For goodness sake, don't fall." "Fall," scoffed dad. "A climber like me, child's play this is. You wait and see." He got out the ladder from the garden shed. It slipped. He landed in the flower bed. So here in the first stanza, this morning a cat got stuck in a tree. Dad said, "Right, just leave it to me." The poet showcases how the narrator's father takes the responsibility of dealing with the cat. The narrator discusses that one morning a cat got stuck in the tree. His father told him that he will manage to drive away the cat. The tree was wobbly the tree was tall mum said for goodness sake don't fall here in these lines the poet describes the narrator's mother's concern for her husband since the tree was unstable the narrator's mother was full of doubts as to how easy would it be for her husband to climb the tree therefore she warned him that he might fall Fall scoffed dad a climber like me child's play this is you wait and see so here in the stanza the poet discusses how the narrator's father laughed away his wife's warning he is just not paying attention to her warnings so what he's doing listening to his wife's warnings the narrator's father was quite surprised he dismissed away these warnings by saying that he was a good climber and climbing the tree was as easy as a child's play he got out the ladder from the garden shed it slipped he landed in the flower bed here the poet highlights how the narrator's mother's fear proved to be true the narrator's father brings out a ladder from the garden shed but it slipped and father fell on the ground Never mind said dad brushing the dirt off his hair and his face and his trousers and his shirt we'll try plan b stand out of the way mum said don't fall again okay fall again said dad funny joke then he swung himself up on a branch it broke dad landed well up back on the deck mum said stop it you'll break your neck So here in this stanza never mind said dad brushing the dirt off his hair and his face and his trousers and his shirt the poet describes the father gathering back his energy the narrator's father brushes off the dirt from his hair and clothes cleans his face and begins to think about another plan to drive away the cat we'll try plan b stand out of the way mom said don't fall again okay so here in these lines the poet shows how the mother seems to be dissatisfied with the plan b as well so the narrator's father decides to try plan b his wife however again warns him that he might fall again fall again said dad funny joke then he swung himself up on a branch it broke 
In this stanza, the poet showcases how the narrator's father again dismisses his wife's warning. He muses away his wife's warning, still laughing. He swung himself on a branch, but the branch broke, and he again fell on the ground. Dad landed well up. Back on the deck, Mum said, "Stop it! You'll break your neck." Here, the narrator's father again fell on the ground. The narrator's mother begged him to stop, as he might break his neck from falling again and again. <clears throat> Rubbish," said Dad. "Now we'll try Plan C. Easy as winking to a climber like me." Then he climbed up high. on the garden wall guess what he didn't fall he gave a great leap and he landed flat in the crook of the tree trunk right on the cat the cat gave a yell and sprang to the ground pleased as punch to be safe and sound so here in the stanza rubbish said dead now we'll try plan c easy as winking to a climber like me the poet highlights how the narrator's father refuses to give up He then decided to try plan C. He was still confident that being a great climber he would succeed. Then he climbed up high on the garden wall. Guess what? He didn't fall. In these lines the poet shows that the father trying yet another plan. He climbed up the high garden wall and this time he didn't fall. He gave a great leap. and he landed flat in the crook of the tree trunk right on the cat here the poet describes that finally the narrator's father succeeds he with a great leap finally landed on the tree top right on the cat the cat gave a yell and sprang to the ground pleased as punch to be safe and sound the poet humorously ends the poem The moment the father landed on the cat the cat screamed with fear and sprang to the ground landing smoothly on the ground it seemed content with itself so it's smiling and smirking smug as can be but poor old dad still stuck up the tree here the poet describes the father's poor state The narrator describes that having safely landed on the ground the cat was smiling arrogantly while his father got stuck on the tree Here in these last lines the poet is describing that situation humorously that once the cat was stuck on the tree and the father was on the ground now the situation is opposite the father is stuck on the tree and the cat is on the ground this is the glossary wobbly means unsteady for goodness sake is un an exclamation expressing protest scoffed means laughed mockingly child's play is very easy to do landed velop means fell heavily pleased as punch means very pleased safe and sound means unheard now we will discuss the questions and their probable answers question first is why was dad sure he wouldn't fall so the answer would be dad was dad was sure he wouldn't fall because he thought himself as a climber and climbing on trees was a child's play for him question number 2 Which phrase in the poem expresses dad's self-confidence best? So the answer would be that the phrase in the poem expresses dad's self-confidence best is child's play this is. Question number 3. Describe plan A and its consequences. Plan A was to use the ladder in climbing the tree for bringing the cat down, but it slipped and dad landed in the flower bed. Question number 4 is Plan C was a success what went wrong then 
Plan C was a success as Dad successfully jumped on the tree and landed flat right on the cat. The cat gave a yell and sprang on the ground, but poor old Dad stuck on the tree. Now we'll discuss question number five. The cat was very happy to be on the ground. Pick out the phrase used to express this idea. So the phrase used to express this idea is pleased as punch to be. Question number six is describe the cat and dad situation in the beginning and at the end of the poem. The cat was stuck on the tree and dad was trying his plans to bring it down in the beginning. But at the end of the poem, the cat sprang to the ground safely, but dad got stuck on the tree. Question number seven is why and when did dad say each of the following? Fall, never mind, funny joke and rubbish. <clears throat> so, dad said fall when mum warned him about fall while climbing the tree. He said so scornfully. <clears throat> Second is, Dad said never mind when he fall from the ladder due to slip for the first time. He said so to make clear that everything is right. Third is, Dad said funny joke when mum warned him of falling again. He said so because he was overconfident of the success of his plan B. And the fourth one is dad said rubbish. When mum asked him to stop else, he will break his neck after his plan B failed. He said so because he thought that his plan C will work and he will climb the tree easily. Question number eight is, do you find the poem humorous? Yes, the poem is humorous. It draws funny situation of dad while climbing trees. Moreover, dad overconfidence of climbing tree added more humor to the poem. So this is all about this poem and we have discussed the explanation as well as the probable answers. I hope you will like this video and we will meet in another video. So bye for now.